This is a stunning political comeback for someone who came into this election as a twice impeached losing incumbent facing a tidal wave of legal charges withstanding a criminal conviction two assassination attempts for Trump and his supporters. This represents a major vindication, but Trump is not only storming back to power. The Republicans have firmly won the Senate. This gives them a major power center here in Washington. They will have a lead role in confirming Trump's cabinet as well as any Supreme Court justice should there be a vacancy. I spoke earlier with McMaster University professor Don Abelson here in D.C. Let's listen. It could not have been a better night for the Republicans. Not only did they take back the Oval Office, but they took back both houses of Congress. So Donald Trump couldn't be any happier. What were the deciding factors? I would say concern over the economy, inflation, uh, certainly immigration was such a hot button topic, and the concern that uh, Kamala Harris was just too closely linked to Joe Biden and perhaps didn't spend enough time on her campaign differentiating her vision from his. Those electoral votes will be counted in the chamber of the House of Representatives on January 6th. Then Trump will return to power in the White House behind me on January 20th.